trade to the Bronx is a comedy satire on the war on terror. I told people we were going to write a comedy satire on the war on terror, and they said, you're crazy, how could you make fun of something like that? But I think people have had it. They've had it with Homeland Security, they've had it with waiting on useless lines, they've had it in having their hairspray taken away from them. People, I think, have grown to be fed up with the world that are. F-Train is going to be a good outlet for them. We kind of compare this, this book to the same audience that would have liked Dr. Strange Love. The main characters, uh, the, the uh, captive intelligence uh, expert is um, Inspector Bumbleweed from Scotland Yard, who's on loan from England helping out uh, uh, during the inauguration of the transatlantic train from Bournemouth, England to Grand Central Terminal. Uh, he's hot in pursuit of the terrorists, uh, Khalil and, and the other three miscreants, who, uh, who messed up and by accident uh, ignite half the load of explosives they have, and they don't accomplish their job. But they did accomplish enough to derail the F train, which is now, instead of going to Brooklyn, is now in the track to the Bronx, then gets further derailed, and is now on the way out to the transatlantic tunnel on the way to England. So the, so the terrorists take what they got left in explosives and they hijack some people, they get in the train and they're heading out to the halfway hotel and casino. I always kind of like uh, the big melodramatic uh, earthquake, um, you know, towering inferno. So I always had a, a thing of doing a comedy uh, about a tunnel being opened and that people were being chased. Uh, Ira and myself kind of got together and then we really kind of worked it around that idea and created the whole uh, terrorist thing. If train moves, it, it rocks, it keeps moving and it's like a roller coaster ride that's, that's a laugh a minute. Uh, in between the serious uh, drama, you know, the action, action adventure terrorist story, you got some hysterical things out there. We make fun of the terrorists, we make fun of the media, we make fun of the government, and we make fun of the laws that they pass. People will get it because I think it's time to kind of sit back and say the world's changed, we've changed, and we have to adapt to a different lifestyle. And I think that's what we're trying to accomplish with, with this book.